Hello friends, I'm from Tutorial Junction and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you uh, how to use adjustment layers and some filters to create this beautiful looking vintage picture and it is really easy so to start it first of all I will copy this image into a new document okay now first of all duplicate this image and go to image adjustments and shadows and highlights don't change any sliders and just hit ok now the effect is too hard for the uh, for the output we are looking for so just turn it down to the almost 50 percent now go to adjustment layers and select curves and in the rgb mode crank up your output to around 80 percent and now go to the red and change your first of all click anywhere in the middle and change your input to 112 and your output to 140 and in the green channel again click in the middle somewhere and change your input to 115 and your output to 131 and again do the same thing with the blue click in the middle anywhere and in the input I will be using 58 and in the output 95 okay we are done with the curves now because of curves we have lost all the contrast in our image so to bring that back I will use selective colors and for the selective colors first of all go to the neutrals and in the neutral <coughs> we need blacks so I will add some of the blacks maybe around 40 45 and let's go to the black menu and again uh, insert some blacks and for this I will be using around 12 or 10 I mean don't go with the numbers yeah this is the topic I wanted to share with you never follow the numbers I use in my tutorial because every image has a different lighting and colors this uh, these numbers will only work with this image so your if your image is different try uh, to tweaking between the numbers or the different type of colors maybe add some yellow or blue I don't know but every image is different so don't stick with these numbers tweak a bit and you will find even better results so because we are looking for vintage look I will also add some yellows so for the yellows uh, maybe 10 or 11 and for the blacks I have used 66 in the yellows ok now we are done with the curves sorry selective colors after selective colors I am going to use color balance and in the color balance in the shadows I am gonna do nothing and for the mid tones I will add some of the reds sorry plus 5 uh, maybe this is looking good no that's too much okay and for the yellows I be using minus 34 so here you are that's enough don't don't worry about the numbers we are only considering the output so number doesn't matter that much and for the highlights I am using minus 15 maybe okay and in the yellows I am using minus 12 okay that's enough we are done with the color balance now go to the labels adjustment layers labels and in the shadows add 26 in your mid tones add 1.47 and for the highlights I'm gonna stick with 255 okay the purpose of this layer was to bring some highlights on this girl's face but we don't want in it on the all over image so to change that 
click make sure you have selected your mask select brush tool and make sure your foreground color is completely black and start painting around the side areas of image make sure your opacity is also full just leave the girl face and skin and you can erase all around make it really rough as you can see my mask it is really rough and it is enough now again uh, we want to make her face pop a little more so for that hold down control alter shift and e and put that layer on the multiply mode it will make the amount of shadow double now hold down your alt key and select on the mask or uh, one second I, we can do it very easily press ctrl z just select a normal mask and make sure your brush color uh, is black and just make it a really big brush and click once or twice and as you can see the fa face of girl is now looking very good it is coming out from the image so it is looking really good now we want to create those particles as we can see in this image so to create that particles just create a new layer and make sure your foreground color is black again and to make that black just hit D okay so we have our black color on so press alter delete to fill that color or you can use this bucket tool here okay now uh, we want to add some noise so go to filter noise add noise maybe 100% should be enough make sure you have selected Gaussian and monochromatic and hit ok ok now go to filter menu again and go to filter gallery and make sure you have selected dry brush filter you can find it in artistic department so make a changes in brush size if you want okay this is looking pretty good brush detail and texture I don't think matters any even in this image okay so just hit okay and it has started looking like particles but is it is not looking that good so we will go again to the filter pixelate and we will go to crystallize zoom out a bit and as you can see it has started to create some crystals which are looking really good okay for the cell size maybe mm, 35 should be 40 should be enough and just hit ok and it is looking pretty good now turn your make sure your layer is selected and turn your blending mode to the screen and as you can see we have all those particles really beautiful okay now this these particles are looking very still so to change that again go to filter blur and motion blur and in the motion blur uh, if you want direction of your wind from this as we can see her hair are flying on this way though those are not too much problem for us so you can use any angle you want but make sure it is not complete 90 otherwise it will look really bad so maybe minus 55 or plus 55 you can use whatever uh, I will stick with 55 that should be enough and the distance is kind of too much so I will use maybe 10 okay that's looking pretty good if you want to add some more particles just duplicate your layer and select a move tool it is here and change your particles again you can also rotate them by pressing ctrl T and just rotate them wherever you want or uh, maybe they are looking really good here is looking really good 
so if you want to remove any of particles again select a mask and select brush tool and make sure your foreground color is black and I want I don't want this particle here or maybe this one so I will remove it by print, painting black color so it is looking pretty good maybe I want those back yeah this is looking pretty good so uh, this is looking very good right now okay now we are done now we want to brighten up our face a little more uh, so go to brightness contrast and crank up brightness to around 92 okay that's pretty too much mm. and crank your brightness a little up okay that's looking pretty good and selecting your mask press ctrl i it is doing the same thing uh, by pressing ctrl i we feel we inverted the mask so we cannot see anything it is all hidden now make select a brush tool and make sure you have selected <coughs> white color now we want glow only on our face so click once on our face so as you can see it is looking pretty good if you want to remove a little bit of effect so you can turn down the opacity a bit okay it is looking it is started looking really nice okay now again go back to layers pa layers palette and create a new layer now after creating a new layer go to gradient you can find it here just hold down the icon and you will find gradient tool now make sure you have selected foreground to transparent gradient and hit ok and in the colors uh, I will be using color E F D O C 5 and just uh, select your gradient and make sure you have uh, first one selected and just a little bit now select a move tool and holding down shift key take it a little upside okay that is looking pretty good now create a hue saturation layer and select clipping mask so it will affect only this blue color and maybe I will change it to mm, yeah that's pretty good and turn down a bit of saturation so it will match with the foreground as well now because the gradient is too harsh I want to make it a little smooth so press ctrl T and take it a little down and again select uh, make sure move tool is selected and drag it a little up okay we are almost done with this now the black in the foreground is little disturbing so I want that removed so I will again go to the curves and in the output I will crank it up maybe around 40 to 30 I don't know and again selecting my mask I will press ctrl I and select brush tool and again paint with the white in the black area so it will not hurt my or anyone's eyes that much <laughs> that was really disturbing now create a new layer go to vibrance and crank it up full make it 100% now go back to layers palette and turn your layer blending mode to colors so it will affect only the colors of the image now the vibrant amount of color is too much so i will turn down opacity maybe around 50 to 60 percent is looking really good now this black color is really disturbing me again so again create a new brightness and contrast layer and crank up your brightness even some more again go back to layer select your mask and press ctrl i 
and just paint with white again so it is not disturbing that much again so we are almost done if you want if you have problem with any colors or if you don't like it it's just simple just go double click on that icon and you can change whatever you want it is that easy and remember always uh, it is color correction tutorial so never follow any the numbers I have used or any the procedure I am doing it was tutorial to show what to do in what kind of condition just like we wanted to remove this black part so we used brightness and contrast we wanted some more bright uh, deep colors so we used vibrance or we wanted to make her face brighter so we again used some brightness and contrast uh, so this is how color correction works i mean every image is different lighting and colors again i'm telling you so please never ever follow the procedure i'm doing even as you can see the last uh, output i had and the, the output i have right now is quite different because i couldn't remember all the numbers but if you want i can see well, let's see what the numbers i have used okay every everything is perfect maybe in the selective colors or whatever but this output is different but the thing is both are looking very beautiful so it was my first tutorial so <laughs> i was really nervous but i hope you guys learned something from it so goodbye enjoy and if you liked it it will be great i will not tell you to subscribe or like my video it will be okay but yeah if you learn something please teach someone else like i am trying to do so goodbye and the next tutorial will be out next week and it will be also again color correction tutorial or maybe 3d i don't know uh, i think i think i should do a 3d tutorial so if you liked it it's great so goodbye